Don't waste my time. How's it going, everyone? It's your girl, Rocket Gal, and welcome to another episode of Fey References. It's a series where I cover references and trivia of various units in Heroes. Last episode, we went over Brave Robin, so this time, we're going to visit Fodland and cover the one and only Edelgard. Very well. Edelgard's artist is Suda Akaya, who has drawn four other units in Heroes. These are Python, Nesala, Luin, and Sed. Well then. Edelgard is depicted in the noble class in Three Houses, which is also her default monastery outfit. The weapon she's wielding in her attack art is the Silver Axe from Three Houses. The weapon sprite is a slightly modified version of the Silver Axe, with a red handle instead of its usual silver and blue one. The pose her map sprite makes in Heroes matches the pose her model makes in Three Houses. When Edelgard triggers an offensive special in Heroes, her sprite makes a pose similar to her attack and special art. I will go. Edelgard's sprite spins her axe both during the start of the turn and when she makes a consecutive attack. This is a reference to Edelgard twirling her axe in three houses. <laughs> in English, Edelgard is voiced by Tara Platt, who also voiced Edelgard in three houses, three hopes, and engage. Terra Platt has also voiced Muriel and Flavia in their appearances in Awakening and Heroes. To victory! Edelgard's Japanese voice actor is Ai Kakuma, who along with voicing Edelgard in all her appearances, also voiced Flora in Fates, and Flora and young Erika in Heroes. <laughs> One of Edelgard's turn action quotes is similar to her full health selection quote in Three Houses. I will go. I will prevail. Edelgard's special quotes all match her critical attack quotes from Three Houses. I will prevail. I will prevail. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. I'll strike you down. I'll strike you down. Watch this. Watch this. Edelgard's defeated quote is similar to her post-time skip low health selection quote in Three Houses. I can't die. Not yet. I can't fall just yet. Two of her level up quotes are similar to her level up quotes in Three Houses. I must get stronger. One step at a time. Her ally growth quote is similar to her skill or class mastery quote in Three Houses. I've mastered this art. Her status page quotes have numerous references. This one, I'm a student at the Officers Academy. For now, implies that she does not intend to be a student for too long. This may be interpreted by some to mean she will become the Emperor of Adrestia very soon. However, it is more likely referencing the fact that she had planned to drop out of school to both ransack the holy tomb and invade the monastery. This next quote, My strength is due in part to the power of crests, references the fact that she has two crests. The way she says it is vague, but it's an indirect way of saying she has more than one crest, which at the time of her release was not known to be possible. This next quote, A painting? My painting? But how did you leave now? I have urgent business to attend to. References Edelgard's hobby of painting. This is seen in chapter 15 and 16 of the Crimson Flower Route of Three Houses. What? Oh, Professor, leave here at once. There's something I don't want you to see. So, you know about it. Yes, it's a portrait of you. I painted it myself. It's... Uh, quite disgraceful. I did a terrible job with it, and it looks nothing like you. I'm happy that you appreciate my efforts, but please don't touch that door. This next quote, All obstacles will be crushed, without exception, is similar to her quote when she defeats an enemy. No obstacle will stand. Here's a castle quote I wanted to take a closer look at. My father, the Adrestian Emperor, was stripped of his power. As his successor, I will reclaim what he lost. This is a reference to the Insurrection of the Seven, which is a coup that in many ways is the root cause of Edelgard's suffering. Emperor Ionius IX, Edelgard's father, sought to centralize power to himself and weaken the rest of the nobles of the Empire. House Hrim, in opposition to these new policies, 
decided to defect to the Leicester Alliance and started its own separate insurrection. Ionius IX was able to crush the opposition and eradicated the Hrim line, instilling Yuritsa as a new face of House Hrim. The other Adrestian nobles, fearing the growing power and influence of the emperor, incited their own insurrection that would later be known as the Insurrection of the Seven. This resulted in the balance of power shifting from the emperor to the seven noble houses involved. These seven nobles were Duke Ludwig von Eyre, Duke Gerth, Count Leopold von Burglies, Count Gregor von Varley, Count Waldemar von Hevering, Marquis Vestra, and Lord Volkard von Arendelle. Ugh, please don't do that. Edelgard's stats are relatively balanced with only resistance being low. When compared to her maximum stats in three houses, they are actually very similar proportionally, with heroes putting a bit more emphasis on defense. All other stats are within 2% of each other. When looking at all variations of Edelgard and heroes, they all have high attack and defense. However, OG Edelgard stands out amongst all other Edelgards in the game by having the highest speed while all other Edelgards have less than 20 speed. On the other hand, OG Edelgard has the lowest resistance among the other Edelgards, who all have resistances in the high 30s. This discrepancy in stats is due to the fact that OG Edelgard, in the Noble class, is more of a generalist while all other Edelgards pivot in the typical stat line of armored units. Edelgard's weapon is the Victorious Axe. Before its refine, it gave her a follow-up attack if she is surrounded by more enemies than allies. This may be a reference to both her working and scheming alone, along with her being surrounded by quote-unquote allies who are actually her enemies, such as Talus and those who slither in the dark. This theme of being alone is shared with her A and C skill, Attack Defense Solo 3 and Rouse Attack Defense 3. After its refine, Victorious Axe also grants Edelgard another action. This is a reference to Edelgard's exclusive combat art in Three Houses, Raging Storm which allows Edelgard to take another action if she's able to land a hit. Additionally, it's also effective against dragon units. Edelgard's B skill is Dual Close 3, which neutralizes her foe's bonuses if they use swords, lances, axes, dragon stones, and beast damage. This effect working on dragon and beast units may be a reference of her animosity towards Cress and the Church of Saros, which are closely aligned with dragons and beasts. I value this experience. And that about covers the references I could find for Edelgard in Heroes. I hope you enjoyed! Please let me know if you believe I missed something or got a reference wrong. Also, please let me know who you want me to cover in future Fae reference videos. I would really appreciate any recommendations. I hope you enjoyed the Fae references episode featuring Edelgard. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time!